In this video, we're going to be looking into how we can add timestamps to uh, Terminal. We're going to be looking into adding the timestamps to Mac Terminal um, and it's going to also work on Linux Terminal. And we're going to be looking into how we can add the timestamps if you are using the Fish Terminal. So you can see that I already have it in there the reason is that my command is already inside uh, dot uh, z s h r c so i'm just going to expand that uh, enlarge that so i put my settings inside the z s r uh, z s h r c you can put the settings inside z profile if you have a bash script it can go into bash underscore profile uh, or bash rc uh, if you are on linux but because we are on mac uh, we can put it into zshrc uh, the command is this one uh, we're gonna try that over here uh, so that basically says that i want the time in uh, in uh, 12 hour format uh, and that is going to be appended uh, with a colon and a space that's why you see a colon and a space before my uh, command here if I do it it's going to add another time if I do it it's going to add one more time another thing we can do is like if you do not like the 12 hour uh, format you can also do ps1 plus equals to uh, something like uh, space dollar sign and then the date and then plus uh, like percentage and capital T that is basically gonna <coughs> add the time in the 24 hour uh, format and also it's gonna put uh, seconds in there okay uh, the other one is that that is gonna work uh, inside your regular terminal if you wanna add the same thing to fish terminal so if you see here I have this fish terminal and I have this uh, timestamp inside uh, my fish terminal and every time it does show up and does update <coughs> with the uh, hour minute and second so the easiest one so in terms of the settings the settings are inside this vim dot slash config fish functions I original uh, originally had this functions as an empty function I did put uh, fish prompt or I created another function here my stamp timestamp uh, dot fish those were the functions I added but none of them actually I wouldn't recommend doing that there is a better way of so right now the timestamp you see over here it's not because of those functions I added into in that directory it's the way we're going to be doing it is using a command called fish underscore config when you do that it's going to open up a browser for you it and we're gonna uh, it's going to open up a page in the browser we're going to go into prompt and basically these are the different the current one i have is also known as something uh, this one is called informative so basically we're going to select one of these prompts here this way you can only select these kind of prompts which include uh, this list is it hub arrow astronaut default let's go all those ones so if i want to change my prompt to this disco which is going to show the time to the right and then uh, the prompt is going to be over here to the left i would click in it's gonna start showing up here on the top then I would say set prompt and if I go back 
it actually did it over here shutting down it's showing me the prompt here so it basically did uh, get the effect right away and it got updated right away I can even exit it do and fish another time and it's gonna stay there I can even exit out of everything exit the terminal exit this one start a new shell window and do fish again and it's gonna keep the last setup I uh, did inside that uh, fish config so if you like this one uh, you are limited uh, with the choices because you can't really make your own prompts here uh, and that you can also do it in the writing your own own functions but for the sake of this video we're just gonna stick to this uh, way of setting up the prompt uh, setting up the timestamps in, inside the prompt like that I'm gonna switch to what I had originally and did it really work? okay now it's working before that it basically appended uh, two things it had the timestamp and another timestamp over here so I just exited out and then uh, started the first step man okay uh, that's all I wanted to cover in this video that's how you can set up the uh, the timestamps uh, in different terminals uh, on your PC uh, terminal prompts inside the terminal prompts uh, thanks for watching